Hello, my friends. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Whatever time of day it is for you, wherever in the world you're listening, you have found the morning mindset. This is our opportunity together to get our minds aligned with the truth of God's word today. Today, we're going to be looking at Matthew chapter 7, verses 1 through 5. And you know how you feel when someone is taking your words out of context. I mean, isn't that a frustrating thing when you've said something and others use it against you, trying to manipulate the situation to make it sound like you said something you didn't really say? Did you realize we do that to Jesus all the time? We do that to the Bible all the time. And Matthew chapter 7 is a great example of it that I'm hopefully going to be able to help you understand a little better today. We're going to be looking at Matthew 7, 1 through 4. But before we get there, I want to ask you Christian married couples out there, if you could use a little shot in the arm to your marriage, if you could use some help. I have penned a devotional for couples called the Marriage Improvement Project. That is a workbook style devotional that you do together. You read a chapter, you answer questions. Sometimes you discuss those questions together to help you better understand each other in your your place and roles in marriage. I encourage you to grab a couple of copies for you and your spouse. You can do that by going to carrygreen.com slash MIP. That will take you directly to the Amazon link where you can get either paperback or digital copy. All right, today, Matthew 7, 1 through 4. Let's take a look here. This is a famous verse. Uh, People use this all the time. It says, judge not that you not be judged. For with the judgment you pronounce, you will be judged. And with the measure you use, it will be measured to you. Okay, now that's where people typically stop. And they will say, don't judge me. Don't you judge me. Jesus says you shouldn't judge me. And they'll say that when something in their life is being called to question. When their behavior, perhaps, is being called to account. They've done something that isn't seemly as a believer, or they've done something that isn't right. And people are trying to hold them accountable. And they say, don't judge me. Jesus says you shouldn't judge. Well, friends, that statement, while it is word for word what Jesus said, is not true to the context of this passage. We have to keep reading beyond verse number two. Let's look at verse number three. Jesus says, why do you see the speck that is in your brother's eye, but do not notice the log that is in your own eye? Or how can you say to your brother, let me take the speck out of your eye when there's a log in your own eye? You hypocrite, first take the log out of your own eye, and then you will see clearly to take the speck out of your brother's eye. So friends, do you understand where Jesus was going with this? He's not saying, don't judge. He's saying, be careful about how you go about judging. You see, as believers in Jesus Christ, we are to make judgments about the things we see going on in the world. How else are we going to be able to know if we're living a godly life or not? Unless we're judging, is this behavior right? Is this attitude right? Is this opportunity right? Is this friendship right? You see, friends, we have to make judgments both about the people and the circumstances in our lives. Jesus is making the point, be careful how you judge. He says the judgment you pronounce is the same kind of judgment you're going to be judged with. So in other words, be careful you're not speaking before you have all the facts. Be careful you're not making up your mind about a person before you understand what's really going on. Because sometimes it turns out to be a situation like this crazy illustration he uses where someone's trying to get a speck out of someone else's eye when they have this big log sticking out of their own eye. Now, isn't that a ridiculous picture? Well, Jesus made it a ridiculous picture on purpose because he wants us to see how ridiculous it is to be so hypocritical that we try to help others with a problem we struggle with worse than they do. So friends, don't be afraid of judging rightly. Instead, take Jesus' words in context and understand that we need to be careful about how we go about judging because we should be taking specks out of our brother's eye, but only when we've dealt with a log in our own eye first. Jesus, please help us to know how to have, first of all, compassion on other people, that we will understand their circumstance before we make judgment, but secondly, 
to be first attentive to our own lives and the situations and, and habits and sins in our own life that could cause us to judge wrongly in circumstances where we're trying to help a brother or sister in Christ. Lord, give us your grace to see what you see. Give us your wisdom as you promised in the book of James. Enable us to be representatives of you in your kingdom in this world. Lord, we want to give to you the glory do your name by the way we deal with each other. Thank you, Jesus. Amen.